YouTube. Uh, today's mission is to try and pick up on spindle speed. I've got a reflective strip here, which I'll be doing a taco test. To see spindle speed. On my VFD mode, I've got low, high, vary and auto. Low and high I have set with trim pots. So over there you can see low, high, vary, and then auto. On vary mode, my frequency knob here allows me to adjust my frequency knob there. On low, I'm wanting to set a frequency that is equivalent to the slow pulley. And when I go to high, or set a frequency equivalent to the fast pulley. So I should be able to get 70 RPM when I'm in low two here for it to be equivalent to being in low pulley here, 70 RPM. So what we're going to do So now I've set myself to the high, do the same thing. So measured is 102.9 at 22.9 hertz. That's my low. And in my high setting, 139 RPMs at 30.9 Hertz. So I'm just going to do a quick bit of math to figure out what the Hertz for these two numbers should be. I'd say is if, for if I want 70 RPM in my low gear, I want to be at 15.58 Hertz, excuse the scribble. That's the calculation, 70 final RPM times initial frequency divided by initial RPM equals final frequency. Same thing for the high, we've got 139 30.9, 160, and that's 35.56, which is uh, 160 by 30.9 divided by 139, 35.56. Now we can just test those two frequencies using our adjustable dial. It's a very setting, which means that this knob is now controlling our frequency. And down on that, we want to get 15.58. Well, 15.6, that'll be close enough. So now, if we turn that on, we're looking for 70 RPM at spindle. That gives us bang on 160, okay, 35.65, 15.5 are our two target settings for the two potential. So orientation has given us the exact numbers we want, given our readings. So now what we want to do is tweak our trim pots for our low setting and our high setting to those values. In order to do that, I'll need to take the side cable. Okay, so inside here, I have my high trim pot and my low trim pot. Currently, we're going to be setting my low trim pot. So my low trim pot, I want to get 15.5. And as I'm adjusting that, the number's coming down. Ten point five. 
So now we're going to go to my high setting. And now my high trim pot. I want to adjust this to getting 35.65. Looks like 35.6 is going to be my closest value. Okay. So that's my low and my high. Back to low, 15.5. High, 35.5. Five, five. Oh, let's go up one more fraction. Okay, low, high. So now at a flick of a switch, I have my low and my high back to my vary, which allows me to adjust my speed with my dial. And that is that. Okay, so now we're all buttoned up. I'm on low pulley, low and two. Should be getting 70. So if I go to H1. Get me 650 at the spindle. So six ten means I've probably got a bit of adjustment, I'm a bit slow. So if I wanted to, I could tweak the pot and the error in the lower speed would probably be closer than the error on the high speed. So 65, 650 down to 610, out by 40 over 650, which is like 8% difference or something like that. And if I go to my high pulley or my low reading, position one, should be getting 360. So my fast pull is a fraction past, my slow pull is a bit slow, but it's within QE. So now, instead of having to change belts, I can just use the VFD to flick between fast and slow pulley and get me all this range of speeds. So just in case I hadn't given this detail before, at the top we have indication for the lathe being on, emergency stop, which obviously kills the light, uh, jog button, which I've actually got to do a slight adjustment on the wiring. The jog is actually needing to be an active low, not an active high. Um, spindle, sorry, lathe speed, VFD which is when we're on a variable setting, this controls it. Low setting, which is set to our low pulley now, high setting to our low, high pulley now, vary, which is set to this one, and auto, which is a future function that I'm planning to build into this lathe. And auto will allow you to use a feed from an X cross position to do variable spindle speed or constant surface speed so as you bring it in, it will ramp up or ramp down from an existing speed. So you'll set your speed at the start of your cut and as you go in, it'll speed up the cut accordingly, up to the maximum speed of the lathe or whatever. I also have this stepper mode switch, which again is for future uh, operation. Stepper mode, manual, which is no steppers at all. Semi-operation and full operation. So with semi, because I don't have a compound slide, my goal is that I will actually be able to key the Z and the X together so that as my lathe moves in Z, stepper on X will bring the X axis to an appropriate position, much like the compound. So I can cut a, a taper or I can cut a sphere or um, a comp complex shape once I get the complex shape setting. Uh, that'll be a software controlled setup. But yeah, so that's the, the idea is that on semi-automatic, I'll have a control panel, probably mounted actually 
on the carriage on the slide so that when I'm doing my work I can dial in say a radius to 10 mil and then a flat and then a 30 degree angle and then a radius out if I wanted to code in a complex shape at various set points across the Z on the lathe. So that should be an interesting addition as I progress on this particular machine. But anyway, um, that is some progress. It's on the AL960B lathe restoration project. So I'll record that and save it now. And obviously the other footage you've just seen, which is how I've set up the low speed, the high speed VFD settings for the spindle. Thanks heaps for watching and I hope you catch the next one.